How to make rubbing alcohol when the pharmacy's looted and your wounds are growing friends. Hospitals are dust. That cut on your arm. It's writing its will. Time to distill some liquid hope, or at least liquid that burns enough to sterilize a fork wound. Before we go further, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to end up like Dave. <clears throat> Step 1. Scavenge like a fermented rat. Sugar source. Rotten fruit. That organic honey from 2018 or melted gummy bears. Yeast. Bread crusts. The weird film on your socks. Or just spit in it and pray. Container. Glass jug. Hollowed out coconut. Or your neighbor's fancy decanter. They're dead anyway. If it smells like a brewery, congrats. If it smells like death's laundry, maybe don't drink it. Step 2. Ferment like a mad scientist. Mash your sugar sludge. Use a baseball bat, rock, or pure rage. Add yeast. The funkier the better. Let it rot. Two days if you're lucky, two hours if the raiders are coming. Yeast eats sugar, pisses alcohol. Nature's most disgusting miracle. Step 3. Distill your regrets. Find a metal pot, pressure cooker, or that one neighbor's stolen soup can. Drill hole in lid. Use a nail if you're truly desperate. 2. Find copper tubing. Gut your fridge coils, aluminum cans, smash flat and roll, or a hollowed out shotgun barrel. Attach seal to boiling chamber with clay mud chewed gum. 3. Cooling chamber, find bucket, trash can, or your last intact shoe, or run tube through cold water. Swamp water works, kind of. Boil the swill. That distinct bouquet means it's working or killing you. Collect the steam through a tube, a hose, or your neighbor's stolen CPAP machine. Cool it down. Ice? Hey, use wet rags or just cry on it. Light a drop on fire. If it burns blue, victory. If it burns down your shack, well, warmth is warmth. Hit subscribe or risk being unprepared when the apocalypse comes. And trust me, Steve the Warlord will invade your safe space.